Hey guys, it's Dave and welcome to the Weird Kids Show. It's awesome having you here today. Uh, so I've got a bug. No, it's not COVID. It's a sculpting bug. And it's all thanks to Keith from Cobwebs and Candlesticks. Um, this guy's been sculpting like crazy lately and it just rubbed off on me. Um, the last few times I started that bottle, the Monster Bottle, uh, in the New Year's Special. Uh, came back and... Uh, finished the sculpt and then last week as you saw we painted it uh, well this week I'm going to do another bottle because I think I want to make a series of monster bottles and then I want to build a cabinet like a, a apothecary type of cabinet but monster cabinet okay and it's going to be filled with all these monster bottles and stuff like that um, so I'm going to keep going on with that today now forewarning um hectic schedule for me this week um, and I've got a little bit of a disruption that's coming so I'm going to get through this as best I can uh, but there might be a part two next week where I should have more free time so what are we going to do? So we got some uh, clues here um, here we've got the transition of H.P. Lovecraft The Road to Madness no pictures but it's a, you know, it's a book it's a good, good book and then we have another uh, hardcover book, uh, H.P. Lovecraft, The Mysterious Man Behind the Darkness. Okay? Uh, pretty tragic tale, really, if you ask me about H.P. Lovecraft. The guy just didn't really seem to get any recognition early on in his career. And he had a lot of ups and downs in his life and stuff, as we all do. But uh, anyways, this is one book I picked up, and I thought it was awesome. If you see this, snag it up. All right, this book is called the H.P. Lovecraft Drawing Book, Learn to Draw Strange Scenes of Otherworldly Horror. And right on the cover is Cthulhu. Now, this is one person's vision, and that's the thing. There was never really any formal illustrations of, of the madness inside H.P. Lovecraft, uh, but that was what was fascinating about his tales is what you read, you you formed this picture of what these creatures looked like um, in your head. And uh, this book here, it's just got a lot of cool... Uh, now here's Cthulhu here, show you how to draw it. Alright, but I'm not going to draw it. This is a good thing for reference material. It's got a lot of cool uh, stuff in it for your inspiration. But... Um, I'm gonna, I've got some other reference material I'm going to go off of. So the bottle I'm going to choose is this one. This is a nice one. Uh, I picked this up at a, a thrift store, and it's nice and thick. It's a really thick, solid bottle, and it has a glass stopper. Now, I took the rubber, uh, the silicon gasket plunger. I took that off, all right, because we don't. We're gonna. I'm gonna want to put something on this and put it in the oven. We don't want this to be on it in the oven. But this is a really good uh, bottle to start with, and I think I'm gonna try to do a Cthulhu head here. But the first thing I need to do is like what I did with the other one, and that's to take my sculpey and then go ahead and coat the whole thing. Cover the whole thing with Sculpey, with the exception of the bottom. One thing I didn't talk about last time, that we can this time, is you can put felt, or I put uh, craft foam on the bottom. You know, I glue it on there, and then I just cut around it, so that when you set it on, you know, it slides around on, uh, you know, furniture and whatnot, without scratching or damaging the bottle. Uh, so anyways, if you want to see how I put the Sculpey on the bottle, which it's pretty self-explanatory, go back to the Monster Bottle uh, that I did in the last two videos. So uh, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put the Sculpey on this thing, I'm going to pop it in the oven, and when we come back, we're going to start sculpting this thing. We're going to sculpt the Cthulhu. So hang tight, guys. Thanks for being here. Uh, 
I've taken the bottle, I put it in the oven, 275, ah, for about 20 minutes or so, and then came out super hot, um, and it's cured too, but just so you know, uh, cause I've had some people else mention this happening to them, it, it started to crack down here on some of these corners, okay? I'm not gonna be concerned about that. All right, I've already, like, put some more Sculpey in to fill in one of these areas here, um, because what I can do is I can go back through and fill it in with more Sculpey, okay? Because it's been, I, I uh, tapered it over the bottom here. All right, so uh, I'm gonna be baking it again anyways after I've done the Sculpt, okay? So uh, before I put it in the oven, I'll go through and recheck these edges and bake it again, okay? Because this is gonna be done in stages. Uh, to tie it all in to keep everything secure at the end. I'm gonna put either felt or craft foam probably felt uh, Which will be glued to it and it'll it'll tie everything in on the bottom here So I'm okay. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and get started On this Cthulhu. I have no No idea where this is gonna take me uh, what I'll probably end up doing is uh, I'll just get this thing started pretty much and I did have some reference material here uh, I went on I, I typed in uh, Cthulhu on uh, Google Google search and uh, there's all kinds of uh, images there so basically I'm going to have him, his head's going to start here, it's going to come down, alright, and uh, I don't want to come down too far, because uh, this is the main portion of his head, here, it's going to be the main portion of his head, uh, but from here down, I'm going to do tentacles, okay, so uh, but right now I need to Go ahead and pull this stuff down just to lock it in. Start getting that uh, basic shape. And uh, I'm gonna go as much as I possibly can with my finger. And then when my fingers will no longer serve me, then I'm gonna go ahead and get in there with uh, my sculpting tools. So I'm just gonna be worrying about, I'm not gonna worry about the tentacles just yet. Because I think I might want to use some wire. Because they're going to be coming down. Uh, and they're going to be delicate. So I want to give them some added strength. So I'm just tying this in here. But I'm going to redefine it. With sculpting tools. And especially in that little area there. And just like before, uh, I go as far as I can with my fingers, and then I use sculpting tools, but the last thing that I do before I pop this thing in the oven, which is what I did to this, was I use, um, you can use clay softener, as I mentioned before, or baby oil. And what that does, it seems to chemically react with the Sculpey and breaks it down enough to where it makes it a, a watery, and uh, you can really move a lot of it around and I've actually used it to sculpt in details when I cut in and then I will use the baby oil and the brush and, and tie it all in and it really it, it's an awesome technique if you ask me um, plus it removes fingerprints which is a, a that's a that's a biggie too all right so I'm gonna I've got the basic shape so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go and work on this for a bit because I'm, I have to move it around. A lot of people say, well, I wish you would, um, I wish you would like sculpt it and show us your process. Well, that's the thing. Um, I mean, I don't claim to be any kind of anyone unique or anything, but um, I never know uh, what I'm gonna do. I know I wanna do something. I know I wanna do Cthulhu. Um, and in this case, I did use some reference materials, but I don't know how I'm going to do it. 
uh, until I do it, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and work on this, and then when we come back, I'll show you where I'm at and then how I got there, okay? So hang tight. All right, guys, so this is where I'm at so far. Uh, I just put that wad of clay on there. Okay, and then I started working it. And uh, I use these. This is a, they're called stylists, okay? And so the first thing that I did, which helped set the stage for me, uh, is the eyes. And to do that, I just figured out where I wanted to put them, and I pushed in and created a cavity with the stylus. And then once I was happy with the socket size, then I rolled up little balls of Sculpey clay and stuck them in there. And then taking little snakes of clay, I made the... Uh, underneath the eyelid and then the top brow and then just worked it and positioned it um, and then I added some more little snakes of clay just to give him some texture on his forehead and then with tools like this just you can make this out of just wire or something I just go in and start putting in like wrinkles and everything and then uh, if I went too much or, you know, I wanted to move some stuff around, then I put my uh, uh, baby oil on there and took my brush and then worked it and smoothed it and contoured it. Okay, so now and the last thing I did was I took this, okay, and I took out this portion here. All right, because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make tentacles so there's going to be some small ones on the bottom underneath and then on top there's going to be some big ones all right so uh i'm going to go ahead and start on that and i'll come back and i'll show you how it went and how exactly i did it so thanks for sticking with me guys see you in all right day. guys so this is what i came up with our cthulhu okay he's about done so basically what I did was I showed you where I had notched out. I had just made some short, thin tentacles and I put them all on the bottom. And then just as I started to get up to the top, I made bigger and bigger until we got a whole series of tentacles here. And this is what it looks like. And uh, so I'm gonna like work on the details a little bit. Like I said, you get some sculpting tools you uh just experiment with them you know and uh take some clay and and take a tool and put it on a you know rub it on a piece of clay see what it does change the angle just experiment uh take a popsicle stick push it into the clay uh run it diagonally across the clay stab at it just experiment you know and get used to what you can and can't do with the tools so there we got our Cthulhu okay so what I'm gonna do now uh, is I'm going to take some Sculpey and I'm gonna repair and reinforce these corners and then I'm gonna pop it back in the oven for another bake there could possibly be a third bake I don't know uh, it depends on what else I do to this thing but um, that's gonna be it for this episode uh, like I said it's, it's a short short video this week um, I got some stuff that uh, need to deal with but next week when we come back we're going to paint this but then we're gonna also decide what we're gonna do with the plug. So right now it's just got some uh, uncured Sculpey on it now. I just stuck it on there. So we need to decide what to do with the cork, all right? So in the meantime, I want you guys to post down in the comments what I should do with this. Um, I did look on Google and I found that there's like some uh, Cthulhu uh, Dagon symbols and stuff like that, like runes. 
uh, we could do something and have the you know the symbol for Cthulhu in there, um, like a like a spell. Uh, who knows? Or it could be an eyeball, uh, whatever. So what would, what would you suggest, guys? So post that down in the comments, please. Like and subscribe and hit the bell. It's going to inform you when I upload future video videos. And there's so much more to come. Uh, please check out my brothers, Keith from Cobwebs and Candlesticks and Vic Springston from Monster Misfits. And come join us on the Trio of Terror, where every Monday night we do a, uh, a, a live stream and a giveaway. Uh, and that's a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun in there. So, anyways, guys, so check back next week. We're going to finish the the stopper uh, add whatever other details we're gonna do we're gonna paint this thing uh, we're gonna finish it alright so I appreciate you guys and until next time peace